Exhale everything out. Inhale and lift the crown of your head all the way up to the ceiling or if you're outside to the clouds, to the sky. Exhale, slide your shoulders down your back, soften your jaw. This time inhale, your ribs wide to the sides. Exhale, root down through your sitting bones, press everything out. Feel yourself land here, feel your body connected to earth. Each time we step onto the mat, it's a chance to begin again. It's a chance to begin again. The Greeks, sorry, the Romans had this God named Janus. Janus is the God that January is named after. It's the God of beginnings. But Janus is also the God of endings. The ending of anything is the beginning of something brand new. And so the Romans in their entryways would have Janus, a God that faces forward and backwards at the same time, two faces. An acknowledgement that every moment is an opportunity to begin again. Every crossing of a threshold is both a goodbye and a hello to what's coming. I invite you to accept this practice, this moment as a beginning of something new in your life, even if it's a new start to your day. What is it that you're ready to begin? And what is it that you're ready to release? An old habit, a stale pattern, maybe just the stress of getting to the mat. Let it go. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth and let it all out. Come into child's pose. That is, toes together, knees out wide, send your hips back toward your heels, and then you can stretch your arms forward. If it feels better, you can let your arms be back by your legs. That's fine too. You can wiggle your hips side to side. Victoria's mom, if it feels okay, make your knees wider. Yeah, and sink your hips back more. If that doesn't feel good, then don't do it. Exhale, press all the breath out. Feel your toes press into the mat, your shins. Inhale and expand your ribs out to the sides. Exhale, rinse out like you're ridding yourself of old stale air, old stale things. You can stretch your fingers a little more forward. Inhale and stretch your breath from your fingertips to your hips and fill up your hips, let your belly expand. Exhale, rinse out. You can rock your head from side to side. Curl your toes under, lift your hips up and come into down dog. Downward facing dog. It's an upside down letter V. Spread your finger bones really wide and then press down into the thumb and index finger just a touch more than your outer three fingers. Relax your head, let it hang heavy. And you can bend your knees right and left, right and left. You're not stuck in down dog. Just like you're not stuck in your life, right? Like you're not stuck in a yoga pose. You can move, you can sway, <laughs> you can switch mats. Now all that, it's all good. Put little bends in your knees and fire up the muscles at the fronts of your legs and spin the inner, inner thighs straight back. Lift your tailbone higher. If you're not gonna kick over a window or a kid or a dog, inhale and raise your right leg up to the sky. Bend your knee and stack your hips and spread your toes, yes. 
Inhale, stretch your right leg up high. Exhale, lower your right leg down. Do the other leg. Inhale, float your left leg up rather than kicking it up. That was really graceful. Bend your knee and stack your hips. And then if your armpit goes wonky, uh, kind of rotate your chest toward the ground so that your shoulders are more or less parallel with the ground. Keep lifting your tailbone and your thigh higher. Spread your toes, spread your fingers. Inhale, raise your leg up. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, look forward to the front of your mat. And exhale, walk baby steps to the front, feet to hands. Bend your knees a lot, inhale, halfway lift. Scoop your heart toward the wall in front of you. Exhale, bow forward. Ragdoll, separate your feet hip width apart. Bend your knees a lot and let your ribs drape and rest on your thighs. You can rock from side to side, back and forth, swaying. Albina, it might feel good to interlace your fingers at the base of your skull and give yourself some traction. Inhale and lift your toes and feel your arches and your inner legs and your low belly lift to the sky. Feel that. Exhale, let your upper body relax down toward the ground. Let it hang. You can bend your knees. Exhale everything out and let go of your arms. Press into your feet. Inhale and roll up like a garage door, slowly rolling up. With your last sip of air, reach your fingertips up to the sky. Pull your low belly back and reach your tailbone toward your heels. Lift your heart. Exhale, land your hands at your heart. Soft bow of your head. One ohm together. Exhale everything out. Big inhale for ohm. Uh, Breath in, rinse everything out, and let's begin. Inhale, stretch your arms up. This is sun salutation A. Exhale, forward fold, bend your knees a little, maybe a lot. Inhale, halfway, lift your hands around the earth, your shins or your thighs, pull your heart forward, hips back. Exhale, step back to the top of a push-up. plant your hands and step up to the high plank. Then everyone, place your knees on the ground, Modified Chaturanga, slowly send your heart forward and lower all the way down, pulling your shoulders to the sky as you go all the way to the ground. Point your toes, low cobra, slide your hands forward of your shoulders, elbows up. Inhale and pull your heart, mostly forward and then just a little bit up. Exhale, lower down, down dog. Pull your hip belly in and go, send your hips back. Downward facing dog. Make the sides of your feet parallel with the sides of your mat. That might mean you widen your heels just a little bit. And then put teeny tiny bends in your elbows about a quarter inch to the right and left. So out to the sides. And then bend your elbows about a quarter inch down to the mat. And now squeeze your inner elbows in at the inner upper arms about a quarter inch. Feel how that wraps your shoulder blades away from one another and turns on your chest muscles. Take a big breath in and rinse a big breath out. Sean, let go in your neck. Inhale, look forward to the front of your mat, bend your knees low, and walk your feet forward. When you get forward, inhale, halfway lift and lift your toes. Exhale, bow forward. Rise and shine. Inhale, rise up, press your feet into the earth, lengthen your tailbone down, exhale, bow forward. Right into another sun, halfway lift, breathe in. Draw your shoulder blades away from your ears. Exhale, step back to high plank. Knees can be up or down. 
lower down to low plank. Cobra, low cobra, maybe up dog. Pull your heart through your arms, bend your elbows, draw your shoulders back, down dog. Pull your belly in first, head goes back last. Breath in. Breath out. Lift your collarbones toward the sky as you send your arm bones to the earth. If it feels okay, Sean, lengthen out the back of your neck and look back toward the back of your mat rather than, yeah, so that your head is relaxed. Inhale, look now forward between your hands, bend your knees, walk, step or hop forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Bow forward, breathe out. Rise and shine, breathe in, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, long flat spine, chaturanga. You can walk back or float back. Knees can be up or down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Pull your heart through, down dog. So just because I'm cueing at a certain speed doesn't mean you have to move at my speed. Listen for the modifications, listen for the options, but just know that you always have options. You gotta do what's best for you. Spread your toes and imagine that you're ripping the mat in half, both with your hands and your feet, energy in your arms and legs. From the skin to your muscles to your bones, hug in toward the midline of your bones and the midline of your body. Inhale, look 12 inches in front of your hands this time, bend your knees. Walk or float your hips toward your hands, feet to hands. Halfway lift, breathe in, inner thighs back. Bow forward, breathe out. Rise up to the sky, reach. Draw low belly back, exhale, land your hands at your heart. Sun Salutation B, bend your knees, sweep your arms forward, up and back alongside your ears. This is chair pose or Utkatasana, which doesn't actually mean chair. It means intense. So in order to feel that intensity, lean into your heels and dip your hips a little lower. Inhale, lift your heart higher, draw your ears and your arm bones back at the same time. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. That's the four-point staff pose. Elbows go straight back. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Remember, you can have your knees down and down dog, or in Chaturanga. Exhale, down dog. Warrior one, right side. Step your right foot right between your hands. Spin your back heel down. Inhale, and with your breath, come up in your upper body. Stay here, exhale, draw your right side ribs back and your left side ribs forward. Good job, Alyssa, you did that. Inhale, lift from behind your heart, lift up. Exhale, plant your hands, step back high to low plank, knees up or down. Come down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left side warrior one, step your left foot like a warrior between your hands and inhale and rise up and shine upwards with your heart. Stay for the exhale, maybe re-bend your knee and plug right down into your front heel. Inhale from your back foot, sweep up through your heart. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, chaturanga, low push up. Knees up or down, up dog or cobra, press your pinky toenails down and up dog. Down dog. Big, delicious breath in. Big, delicious breath out. Inhale, look forward of your hands. Bend your knees really low. Walk, step, or float to your hands. Halfway up, wide collarbones. Open your heart. Exhale, bow. Bend your knees, chair pose. Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Long, flat spine, breathe in. Chaturanga, go back. 
So if you jump back, land with your elbows bent. Up dog or cobra. Bend your elbows so you can pull your heart through. Down dog. Warrior one, right side. Plant your right foot between your hands. Root to rise, inhale, one breath, go up. And let it go high to low, push up, you flow. Up dog or cobra, inner ankles draw into the midline and up dog, down dog. Left side, warrior one. Rise and shine, go high. Janet, that's warrior two. Exhale, hands to the earth, step back, chaturanga. <laughs> yeah, warrior one's the forward facing one. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Easy breath in. Easy breath out. Inhale, look to the front, bend your knees and then float like a butterfly or walk. Halfway live, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Utkatasana, lean into your heels, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Long, flat spine, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Press all the breath out when you go down and push the earth away from you with your hands. Up dog or cobra. Down dog. Warrior one, right side. Plant your right foot. Inhale and rise. Exhale and flow. High to low, push up. Chaturanga. Elbows go straight back. Up dog. Down dog. You have another side. Left side, warrior one. Rise. Breathe in. Flow, high to low. Chaturanga, breathe out. Upward facing dog. Press your thumbs down. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, look to the front of your mat. Bend your knees low, low, low. And then float or walk. Halfway lift, breath in. Bow forward, breathe out, relax your neck right away. Inhale, chair, Utkatasana, lift your toes, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Flat spine, breathe in. Chaturanga, go back, breathe out. Inhale, up dog. Down dog. Warrior one, right side. You go. Chaturanga, let it go. Exhale everything out as you go down. Shoulders away from your ears. Up dog. Down dog. Left side, warrior one. Plant your left foot and rise high. Chaturanga low. High to low, you go. Up dog or cobra. Down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, moving on. Inhale, raise your right leg up to the sky behind you. Bend your knee and stack your hips. You can stay right here. Or if you're feeling open and you're not going to land on a table or something, you can flip your dog. Your foot goes all the way over to the other side. Your left hand goes under your shoulder. And then try this. Take your right arm, if you're in flip dog, and squeeze your right elbow in toward your rib cage. Bend your elbow and squeeze your right elbow really close to your rib cage like you're going to hold a newspaper. And then draw your shoulder blades to your spine and away from your ears. Press into your feet. Open your heart, maybe even reach your arm back now. Some of you can go to the floor with it. Yes, nice, Alyssa. Okay, high plank. Everybody come into the top of a push up. You can always have your knees down for this. And then side plank, right hand right under your shoulder. This is called Vashistasana, also known as side plank. 
your right foot can step over, your bottom knee could be down, and then left arm to the sky. Spin your inner thighs toward one another and flex your toes back toward your face. Some of you could take your top shin and your top hand. Some of you could take tree and your top leg. Some of you could take your toe and lift it to the sky. Everybody enjoy where you're at. It's enough. <laughs> and let that go. Chaturanga, vinyasa, high to low push up. You can do it with your knees down. Up dog or cobra. Down dog. Step your right foot right between your hands for Crescent Warrior. This is like Warrior One, but your back heel is up. You can also place your back knee on the ground. That's okay if you're feeling overwhelmed or too much. Put a little bend in your back knee and then lift your back heel immensely over your toes. Draw the back of your heart forward and up. Inhale, bring your hands to your heart and lift your heart to your hands. Exhale, Twisting Warrior. Left elbow to your right knee. You can have this with your back knee down. That's a wonderful way to do it. Inhale, grow long from your left heel all the way up through your core, through your heart. Exhale, dial your right ribs back as you spin your left ribs toward your leg. If you wanna go a little deeper, you could slide more of your arm over. I love the uh, giving your mom an assist. That's pretty awesome. Cinch your inner thighs up, squeeze them together, and draw your outer hips into the midline. Inhale, draw your core in and come back to center. Squeeze your inner legs in for stability. That's Crescent Warrior, arms up. Exhale, open up into Warrior Two. Now we're in Warrior Two, Janet. <laughs> That's a sideways facing pose, yes. You're facing the less long edge of your mat. Draw your left hip slightly back. There you go. Extended side angle, right forearm to your right thigh. Left arm in this extended side angle straight up to the sky for now, like in a chest opener. So instead of alongside your ear, imagine you're gonna touch the ceiling and get a cosmic high five from the universe, like bam. There you go, like you made it to the yoga mat. Everything's gonna get better from here. <laughs> <laughs> right? If you want to go a little deeper in it, you can have your right hand on the ground or on the block. You could take your top arm around for a bind or a half bind, but you choose. Do it from a place of exploration and not from, I uh, should be, right? It's just like get curious as to where your body wants to go today. Inhale, lengthen both sides of your rib cage up and away from your waist. So really lift up, Claire, and then pull your low belly in reach your tailbone and both sitting bones to your back heel. Big breath in to open up fully. And now let it go, hands to the mat, chaturanga, vinyasa, you go. You can always skip the vinyasas and just step to down dog. You choose. Good news. You have another side. Inhale, raise your left leg up to the ceiling. Send your swagger to the ceiling right here. And then bend your knees, stack your hips. This is a great opening for your hips. Keep reaching your right heel toward the earth. Or if you want, you can flip your dog. When you, -flip your do when you flip your dog, I like to reset my feet completely. Um, at 12 o'clock, so the feet are parallel, and then take your left arm and tweeze it in into like a cactus arm into your rib cage so that you can get your bottom tips of your shoulder blades together. Take a big breath across the top of your heart. Exhale, slide your shoulder blades away from your ears and reach your tailbone toward your heels. And now if you want to open up into a full wheel, you could. If you wanna fall on the floor, you can do that, yeah. And then come into high plank. Side plank, left hand right under your shoulder. If that's too much on your hand, by the way, you could be on your forearm with your left elbow under your shoulder and then right arm up. So forearm is a great modification. Bottom knee down is a great modification. 
Albina is doing the modification. And modify, modify means just to add on or to take away. You could take the tree with your top leg. You could hold on to your shin. You could take your big toe. You could reach for the ceiling if you wanted even more. You could take your bottom eye and look up at your top hand. See where that takes you. <laughs> okay, let it go. Chaturanga, vinyasa, you go. And you flow. Up dog or cobra. All good poses must come to an end. <laughs> Big breath in. Big breath out. Now you're probably getting kind of sweaty and lots of breath moving. That's wonderful. Feel what it feels like to be alive and in your body. What a joy. Inhale, look to the front of your mat. Walk, step, or hop to the front of the mat. Feet to hands. Halfway lift, scoop your heart. Exhale, bow. Bend your knees, utkatasana. Um, twisting chair, bring your hands to your heart and then hook your left elbow if you can to your right knee. Or just go in that direction, yeah. Left elbow, right knee. Yeah, you got it. So a way to modify this is to take your feet a little wider and you could have your left hand on the ground or on a block and then your right arm up and that works just as well. Just as well, it does just as much. Tweeze your outer hips in, spin your inner thighs toward one another and down and then imagine that your thighs are widening energetically even though they don't move. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist. You could let your left ear hang by your left shoulder if you wanted. Inhale, come back to center. That's chair. Hands to your heart and go the other way. So in twist, there's this opportunity to lengthen. Inhale and get your spine long. And then exhale to rotate at the chest and rotate at the abdomen to wring out old stale stuff that you're ready to get rid of. And then also to wring in what you're inviting in. Bend your knees a little lower and draw your right hip, right knee back in line with your left hip, left knee. There you go. Good adjustments. Heart up. Yes. And this time, just forward fold, release, cool. Fingers to big toe pose. It's also called parangustasana, reach, uh, which means fingers to big toes in Sanskrit. Step your feet wider, um, about mm, shoulder width maybe apart. And then take your first two fingers and wrap up your big toes and pull on your big toes. And imagine that your toes don't want to be pulled, so they drill down. <laughs> Inhale, widen your collarbones and widen your elbows. Exhale, as you pull with your arms, slide your shoulders toward your hips. Relax your neck. You can sway. You can uh, go back and forth, side to side. Front, back, and side to side. All right, gorilla pose. This is padahastasana. Slide your hands underneath your feet, toes to the wrists. You may need to bend your knees immensely and widen your feet wider to get there. Yeah, so Lisa, go wider with your feet. That may help a lot. Go almost as wide as your mat. Try it that way. Uh -huh. And you can also have your hands on blocks if you're, yeah, there you go. And then pull as you press down with your toes, pull with your arms. Janet, slide your shoulders away from your ears. Yes, you just did it. Jacqueline, shoulders away from ears. Yeah. Claire, relax your neck. Oh, there you go. Okay, release. Malasana, which is a wide-legged squat. We'll all start there. Albina's doing it. You can also sit on a block or two. That works too. You can also have your heels up. So there's many ways to do it. There you go, you got it. 
You can stay right here. This is a great pose, lift your heart. Squeeze your legs into your arms and lift more. What makes it more interesting sometimes is to be in your outer feet, more weight there and more weight in your heels. Yeah. You can continue to stay here and there's an option to take crow pose. Now you bring your feet together and your knees out wide and then slide your torso in between your thighs and bring your upper arms to your shins, lift your butt, lift your heels, and then maybe your toes come up. Round your upper back. There you go, do it. Why not? It's Saturday and you're alive. And then from Chaturanga, you can shoot back, in, or from uh, Crow, you can shoot back into Chaturanga, walk back, float back, you can come out of Malasana and go through a vinyasa, or just go to down dog, you choose. Downward facing dog. Huge breath in. Open your mouth, huge breath out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk, step, or float to your hands. Come up halfway, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Utkatasana. Chair pose. Straighten your legs, Tadasana, hands to your heart, soft bow of your head. Coming to the balancing series, eagle pose. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, wrap your right arm under your left and your right leg over your left. Braid up your elbows, braid up your thighs. Maybe you hook your foot behind your calf. Maybe it happens someday in the future. <laughs> it's not so important that it happens, but you keep going in that direction. Press down into the four corners of your feet. Inhale and lift the front and back of your heart. Exhale, draw your low belly, especially on the right side and reach your tailbone and your low back away from one another. So your low ribs away from one another. Sit lower. No oh, joy. Release, inhale, unwind your arms, spread your eagle wings and go the other way. Left arm under, left leg over, eagle. Come back to your breath. Breathe into, the, into your back ribs. So where the front is closed, the back is open. Feel the back of your heart, your wings of your ribs, your wings of your heart expand with your breath. Release, unwind your arms and legs, reach up. We'll go and do the first side again. Right arm under, right leg over. Eagle, Garuda Asana. So Garuda was a warrior, not a very good one, apparently. And uh, he was kind of an embarrassment to his warrior clan. And then one day during a battle, they sent him to send a message and he ran so fast. Okay, switch sides, inhale, reach your arms up, get big, and then wrap it up. Left arm under, left leg over. He got, he ran so fast that he was like a lightning flash and all paid attention to him and said, you know, realized that he had a gift that wasn't necessarily war, but was something else. He didn't quite fit in. So much so that they made, that Vishnu made him as brilliant as a million suns. Okay, release that, inhale, reach up. Just like we all are when we're born. Exhale, hands to your heart. But he was so bright that everybody said, whoa, you gotta turn it down a little bit. <laughs> You're too much for us. And so like when he's squeezing in, it, it's kind of him kind of, dimming down just a little, but knowing that he still has this brilliance, right? Ready to access. Let's dance. 
Shift your weight into your left leg and pick up your right foot from the inside. Inhale, stretch your left arm up to the sky. Dancer's pose. Press your right foot back to open your heart. If you're uh, wobbly, you could use a wall and press into that. Certainly no shame in it. Uh, and find your inner legs. Press into your back hand and ankle toward one another to create a center line. And from that center line, lift your heart up and out. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, release. Let's do the other side. Right leg down, pick your left foot up from the inside. It's dancer's pose, Alyssa. Yeah. I, yep, okay. And then scoop your heart forward and up. There you go. It looks good, Jackie. Find your center line and roll your outer left hip down eventually. Yes. Beautiful. And release. Okay, we're gonna do the first side again. Press your left foot down. Pick up your right foot from the inside. And when you're ready, you go, Sean, you're kind of been picking your foot up from the outside. Try your palm out to the side like you're gonna receive some change in your hand, right? Someone's giving you change. And then without changing your arm at all, let it fall by your side and pick up your foot from the inside. You're picking it up from the outside right now. Yeah. Now, you kind of twisted your hand a little bit weird. So just hold your palm out to the side like you're gonna pick, like someone's gonna give you some change. Yeah? And then just lower it down. Now pick up your foot that way. Yes, now go back. Okay, release that side. Other side. Now same thing, Sean. Pick up your left foot from the inside. Yeah, with your, yep, there you go. You got it now. And you go, everybody go. Spread your toes. Yes, it's a small thing, but you can feel it. Victoria, outer left hip down, right hip back. There you go. Wow. Jackie, focus. <laughs> okay, come on back, release, and bring your hands to your heart. Okay, so I went a little bit out of order, but I'm going to live. All right, now it's fingers to big toe pose. Shift your weight into your left leg and pick up your right shin. So your right knee lifts and hold your right shin. That's where you start. Uh -huh. And then take your finger. Are you doing the opposite, Elisa? It's left foot down, right foot up. Is that what you got? You got left foot down, right foot up? Okay, and then hold your big toe if you can. Okay, that's, it was just confusing. All right, and then pull with your arm, draw your right, Shoulder back, I'll be in a lift up from behind your heart. Yeah, because you're leaning way back. There you go, awesome. Lift the crown of your head through the ceiling. Take a big breath in. You can hold your shin, it's a great place to hold. And then exhale, send your right leg out to the right. Yes. Now, if you're feeling really sprightly, your hand can go on your hip or it can go out to the side. You can look over your left shoulder if you're feeling kind of ambitious. <laughs> today. Yes. And now come back to center. Everyone, hands to your hips, straighten and point your toe. Point your toe, lift your heart. Inhale, bend your knee up really high. Go ahead and bend it. Airplane pose. Swing your leg through to airplane. You're making a letter T for tremendous, terrific. Roll your thumbs toward the sky. Yeah, to open your heart and tweeze your shoulder blades together. Reach strong through your heel. Half moon may help to have a block. Left hand goes on your block. Right hand can be on your hip or right hand to the sky. Press through your lifted heel, Anna, and flex your toes back. So heel out, 
toes to your face. Yes. And use that to tuck your tailbone toward your lifted heel. Some of you could take a back bend by catching your top foot and your top hand if you wanted. Doesn't make you a better yogi. It's just something to play with. And then everyone take a breath in and enjoy where you're at. Okay, ragdoll, feet together and shake it out. Huh. Bend your knees and blah. Take a big breath in. Make a sound, open your mouth, blah. Great. Press into your feet, inhale, roll up to the sky. Exhale, land your hands to your heart. You have another side. Right foot down, float your left shin up and hold your shin, that's the starting point and you can stay there the whole time. Or if you're feeling more ambitious and more open today, interlace your fingers around your big toe and stretch your leg out. Lift up as if you're lifting the ceiling higher with the top of your head. Let your outer, let your um, ball socket joint in your left thigh roll down into the socket. Heart up. Take a breath in. Shoulders onto your back more. And then exhale, go out to the left. Left leg left. Suddenly you might decide, hmm, I'd rather have my shin right now. That would be a lot more pleasant or available, that's okay too. So Victoria's mom, left leg out to the left. There you go. Hold on to that table if it gets wobbly. <laughs> uh, okay, everyone back to the center. Hands to your hips, straighten and point your toe. Widen your collarbones. Inhale, bend your knee up toward your chest. Swing through the airplane. So torso comes down, leg comes up until they're in one straight line. Turn on your arm bones and lift the very top of your heart just a little bit up. When you're, it's like when you're surfing, you, the very tip of the surfboard, which is the top of your heart, needs to come above the wave or you crash. Half moon, right hand to the mat or the earth or a block, about 12 inches in front of your pinky toe. Reach through the lifted leg and then draw your core in immensely and radiate out in every direction from your core, down through the earth, out through your leg, up through your heart, out through your arms and express that strength of your legs and your core up through your torso. Mm -hmm. You can take the back bend if you want. Ragdoll, let it go. Uh, bend your knees right and left, right and left, right and left. Inhale, roll all the way up, lift up. Exhale, land your hands at your heart. Tree pose, put your weight into your left leg and pick up your right foot from the inside. Your right foot can go on your ankle and your toes can stay on the ground or your shin and then it would have to go above the knee to your thigh. So one of those places will be good. Press down through your feet, get roots. Then hug everything into the midline. Come back into your body. If <laughs> you went spacey, some of you just spaced out. Inhale, get long. Exhale, hug the midline with your foot and your hands. And then if you want, you can take your arms up and then out and branch them out. And you can go up and back, but keep your belly drawn in. And release. Hands to your heart, foot comes down. Switch. Tree, other side. Brick Shasana, tree pose. So the tree has roots, right? To root down. Imagine that your foot is pressing through the mat and growing into the earth. And it has a strong center of the trunk. Pull everything in. And then when you have a strong roots and a strong center, then you can radiate out into the branches, up and out with your arms if you want. 
or just energetically imagine your heart branching up and out. Limitless to the sky. And release. Let's move on, party on, exhale everything out. Inhale, reach up, go up. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Knees can be down in Chaturanga. You can move slowly high to low. Up dog or cobra, pull your heart through. Down dog. Step your right foot into crescent. Inhale, come up. Open up warrior two, so step that left foot back. Mm -hmm. Open up to the side. Triangle, straighten your front leg. This is trikonasana. Inhale, reach your fingertips long, and then tilt. Right hand can go right on your shin, or your ankle, or a block, or the earth. Pick a spot. Press down through both feet. Get earth. Then put tiny bends in both knees and draw in energetically like your heels are magnetized, your inner thighs are magnetized toward one another. Inhale, grow long through your spine, both sides of your ribs. Exhale, pull your belly in and send your tailbone to your back heel. Open your heart up to the sky. If you want, you could relax your right ear to your right shoulder. If you want, you could look up at your top thumb. Feel what feels better to you. Separate leg forward bend. Bring your left hand down and turn your toes over to the left side of your mat. You don't need to come up for that. Make your feet wider than your shoulders. Turn your toes straight ahead. So they're parallel with one another. Inhale, lengthen your spine. So Kathleen, you're kind of in pyramid, but it's separate leg forward bend. So turn all the way to the left. Kathleen, so that you're, yeah, there you go. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bow. So Lisa, you're in pyramid, but it's separate leg forward bend. Lisa, turn to the left side of your mat. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know that pose. Yeah, you can pull with your arms. And if you do, let your shoulders come away from your ears. Inhale, lift your toes, lift your inner thighs, lift your low belly and spread your sitting bones wide. Exhale, let your upper body be soft. So that your legs are strong and active, your kneecaps are lifted, but your upper body is like a waterfall over your strong legs. Pyramid. Now it's pyramid, for those of you who got there early. Walk your hands around to your front foot. Step your back foot forward and a little bit to the left, maybe a lot to the left, so you're more balanced. Anna, bring your back foot forward even more. Another foot. Yes, try it that way. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Stacy, relax your neck. There you go, you did it. Pull, press into your big toe mound of the front foot and draw your right hip back. Lift your left hip to the ceiling and hug both hips to the midline. Mary Helen, we're just bowing over our front leg. Or Sean, we're just bowing over our front leg. That's it. Yeah, that's all there is. Now it's twisting triangle. So the right hand, excuse me, the left hand goes down. The right thumb goes to your right hip crease or to your low back, or the right arm goes to the sky. If you feel like your legs are too far apart for this and it's straining, you can step your back foot in a little more and a little more to the left. So Sean, twist the other way. Right arm down, yeah, left arm up. There you go, there's your twist. That's twisting triangle. There you go, yeah. Yep, oh, and down she goes. Yeah, sometimes it helps to widen your legs. <laughs> It was a graceful landing. Okay, let that go. Chaturanga, vinyasa, high to low plank. The people that don't fall in yoga poses don't get the, the thrill of getting back up. 
You know, they miss out on that. Down dog. Good news. You have another side. Step your left foot between your hands for crescent and come on up with your breath. Open up warrior two. We used to have, a, uh, there was a teacher that we knew and she was kind of Slavic and she called Varya Tu. Okay, straighten your front leg. Inhale, reach your fingertips long and tilt. Come into Varya, oh sorry, um, this is triangle, not Varya anything. Triangle, I just like saying Varya Tu. Come into Varya Tu. Okay, press down through your feet. Hug your heels in. Kathleen, you're so tall. I'm wondering if you could go a little wider, but I definitely would like you to itsy bitsy bend your front knee, just an itsy bitsy amount, so that you can get that energy of hugging in and lifting your thigh bone, like thigh muscles up toward your hips. Yes. And then Everyone shorten your top ribs just a little so that you can link. Yes, just so you can lengthen your bottom ribs. Now extend through your heart. Get the abdominal line really long. Exhale, turn your heart to the sky. Separate leg forward bend. Bring, just bring your right hand to the ground and then turn all of your toes toward the right side of the mat. You can take a different arm position if you wanted. You can interlace your fingers at your low back if you wanted and then press your palms if you want it. Otherwise, your hands can go somewhere else. That's fine. Yeah. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. If you've got your palms, uh, your arms connected, you can start to bring them toward the floor over your head. Otherwise, wherever your hands are is good. You could take the outsides of your feet. Your hands can be flat. Yes. Active legs, active core. Pull the pit of your belly to the sky. For those of you who have your hands overhead, bring them back to your hips. Pyramid, hands to the ground. Walk your hands and your feet so that you're turning your torso toward the very front of your mat. Step your back foot forward and to the right so that you have a pretty wide stance. Bend your front knee a little. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. This is tweaky on your low back. You could have your hands on your shins or even on your thigh or on a block. That will help you pull your torso, your ribs, your belly away from your waist. Everybody do that. And then exhale, pull your low belly in and fold. Lisa, step your back foot forward and a little to the right. That's gonna feel better, I think. Maybe. Try it out. Turn your back toes a little more forward too. There you go, try that. Now pull your left hip back. Yes, and breathe a lot. You got it, Lisa, just like that, try that. And then everyone wiggle your hips a little bit side to side. Yeah, why not? Just see if that frees up anything. Sometimes we get so stuck in the way that we think the pose is supposed to be that we take all the joy out of it. Okay, twisting triangle. This stuff gets to be joyful. Right hand down on a block or on the earth, on the inside or outside of your leg. Hug your inner thighs in, outer hips in. Inhale, lengthen your abdominal line like you're unraveling it, unfurling it. And then turn your heart open, bottom shoulder away from your ear, open your heart. Sean, that'll be easier if you step your back foot forward more and a little to the left. Yeah, so that, that way you got more stability, hopefully, hopefully. Try that. Okay, let all that deliciousness go and chaturanga, vinyasa, you go, high to low. You can skip it and just go to down dog, I won't tell anybody. Downward facing yogis. Yeah, wipe the sweat, why not? All right. Take a huge breath in, everybody. 
Open your mouth and let some tension out. Uh, ah. That feel good. Inhale to high plank. And slowly lower all the way to the earth. Lay down your belly. Turn your right ear to the mat and arms to the side, relax. This is a pose called relaxasana. Just relax. Let your belly press down to the mat. Take a big breath in. Feel how when you let your belly expand into the mat, it opens up all the little bones and muscles in your low back and sacrum. We're moving into some back strengthening, heart opening poses. Locust pose is the first one. Chin on the mat, pressure palms facing down. And then everybody do this because we have the time right now. Pick up your right thigh two inches off the ground and then turn your inner thigh to the sky and your pinky toe edge of your foot to the earth and then stretch everything straight back and then put that back down. And then pick up your left thigh, that's the knee and your thigh off the ground about two inches. Roll your inner thigh to the sky and the pinky toe edge of your leg to the ground. Stretch straight back and then lower it down. See if you feel like you have more space in your low back now. Try that out. And then palms are reaching back for locusts, like you're gonna touch your toes, palms down. Inhale, lift your upper body up. And if it feels okay, you can lift your legs up. If it doesn't feel okay, don't lift your legs up, especially on your low back. If it feels tweaky, keep your feet down. Then really reach your arms up. Turn your thumbs to the sky. Lengthen out the back of your neck. Yes. Lisa, turn your arms the other way. Yes. Feel how that externally rotates your shoulder. Lift up even higher. Breathe in. Okay, come down, uh, opposite ear, left ear on the mat, relax. You can do that same version again, or there's a version where you interlace your fingers behind your back now, and if you can press palms, do that. So you can interlace your fingers, or you can just have palms on the floor. If that's tweaky on your shoulders, I would choose palms on the floor. Reach back to your big toes, reach back to your inner legs, and then inhale, lift your heart forward and up. Send your big toes and your heart away from one another. Tuck your chin into your chest and lift up from where the ponytail would go. Lift from the back of your head. Yes. And then if you could straighten your arms, reach back. Spin your inner thighs up. Jackie, inner thighs up, pinky toe edge down more, yes. Okay, come down, huh. right here on the mat, relax. Breathe in, let your belly expand toward the floor. Exhale, relax even more. Dhanurasana, bow pose, catch your feet from the outside. If that's too much for you, you can do one leg at a time. That's also fine. Press your feet into your hands. Use the strength of your legs to inhale and lift your heart. Come on up. Really active legs. Roll your inner thighs up, spread your toes. Make the back of your neck long. There you go. Breathe right into the space you're making at the top of your heart. And release, come down. Oh. Opposite ear, opposite shoulder, relax. That was so beautiful. I think we should do it one more time. Bow pose. Catch your feet.
feet somewhat, knees somewhat together to start and then press your feet and go. Tuck your chin into your throat like you're making a double chin and lift up through the crown of your head. Breathe into the bones right at the center of your chest. Make space there with your breath. Feet active. So spread your toes, Claire. There you go. Yeah. And release. Come on down. Relax. Yeah, if you want, you could bend your knees and windshield wiper from side to side, but only if it feels good. Upward facing dog. Take your time. Make it count. Pull your heart forward and up. Bend your elbows more. Pull your heart forward and up. And come into down dog. Down dog. And then right away, without too much fuss, camel pose, ustrasana. Ustrasana can be tweaky on your knees. So if you're on a hard surface and with a thin mat, maybe roll up the front of your mat until your knees are padded. And then stand on your knees. Hands are at your low back and sacrum to tuck your tailbone down. Albini can see what she's doing. You can use your thumbs or you can use the base of your hand to tuck sacrum down. Inhale and lift your back ribs and the back of your heart up. Exhale, draw your elbows back and your shoulders back and then maybe your head goes back and then maybe your hands go to your heels. Maybe. Keep sending your heart forward and up. Root down through your shins and send your hips slightly forward. Just slightly. Keep lifting from the front and back of your heart. And very slowly come up. Head comes up last. Sit your hips to your heels. Bring one hand over your heart and then the other. Slow, close your eyes. Soak breath into your heart. Your heart is always ready to begin. Your heart's always ready to say yes to something new, to something exciting. Feel that. Slide your heels out to the side and lie down on your back for bridge. Satu Bandhasana. Satu Bandha Sarvangasana or something like that. But anyway, bridge. Um, feet about hip width apart. And then reach your fingers so that your longest fingers can touch your heels. And in this bridge, keep your palms out to the sides, palms facing up. Press into your feet. Inhale and curl your low back up, your mid back up, and the back of your heart up. Exhale, press into your inner feet and curl your pubic bone just a little bit toward your navel. Inhale, lift your sternum toward your nose and spread your collarbones. Exhale, roll the tops of your thighs very slightly toward one another without tweezing your knees in, just the thigh muscles. If you're feeling tweaky in your low back, lower your hips a little and curl your pubic bone more. And slowly come down, upper back down, then mid back, then low back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Wheel is next. You can do bridge again, that's the pose we just did, or wheel. Hands go by your ears, elbows tweeze in, draw your armpits back, and then inhale, come up. You can go to the top of your head first and then go up on the exhale or you can come all the way up on the inhale. Press into your inner feet, inner hands, spread your thumbs wide, really strong. And you can stay in bridge, it's beautiful. Rotate the tops of your thighs in like you're kind of squeezing a block between your inner upper thighs. 
And then very slowly lower all the way down. Take a breath in. Rinse out. And then come back up, wheel. Yay, bridge can also be wheel. Come on up. Yes, draw your armpits back, relax your neck. And then root firmly into your inner feet. Firmly into your inner hands, the inner leg, inner arm lines of energy, open them up. And then come on down. Breathe in, breathe out. Victoria, try making your hands about mm, six inches wider. See what happens, because I feel like you're putting your hands really close together. Okay, come on up, wheel. Yay, another wheel or another bridge, come on up. Is he crazy? No, this is the sequence. Wheel, come on up. Wheel. You can also do bridge, Victoria's mom, if you don't want to do another wheel. Come up, wider hands. That was like 12 inches, but try it anyway. Just try it. Just see if that gives you more freedom in your shoulders. Yes, yes. Okay, come on down. Come on down. Down. Breathe in, breathe out. This is the last one. So make it the best one. If you've kind of been saving your energy for something, um, this is it. <laughs> Wheel, go up or bridge. Yes, inner feet, inner legs, lift your heart. Yes, yes, you can come onto your tippy toes. Bring your shoulders more over your wrists, yes. Okay, come on down. Oh, now bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Roll from side to side. That's T compressing all the compression in your low back. Take happy baby, baby. Take a hold of the sides of your feet. Yeah, if that doesn't feel good to you, um, you don't have to do happy baby. You could also do um, Baddha Konasana on your back. Your feet go together and your knees go out wide. Um, yep, and you could take it in the straddle. When you're pulling on your feet, also press your feet, your heels, your toes toward the sky and flex your feet. And then you can rock side to side like a baby. You know, babies like, we can just do this for hours, right? And they think it's like to see their toes. So fascinating, right? They're like, toes, and then they try to stick their feet in their mouth. They do stick their feet in their mouth. <laughs> you don't have to do that, but you could. Okay, release all that joy. Now it's time to get Tore up from the core up. We're gonna do very simple bicycle abs. Very simple bicycle abs. Bring your knees over your hips. Interlace your fingers behind your head. And then let your um, arms go, elbows go wide. Inhale, curl your head and shoulders up. Exhale, left elbow to your right knee. And then stretch your left leg out. Pull belly down and then switch. And switch. Make the back of your neck long and switch. So you're not pulling on your head, you're using your core. Yeah, elbows wide, eyes high, and then keep going. Belly in and switch, and switch, and switch. This is you getting stronger in your core. Keep going, keep going with enthusiasm, yes. Yeah, see if you can touch your elbow to the outside of your knee. Yes, keep going. Oh, there it is, Kathleen, a whole different game, right? When you're actually touching it. Yeah, actually touch it if you can. Yes, yes. Shoulder blades off the ground. Yes, yes. Keep going. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, yay, hug your knees in, yes. And then stretch everything really long. 
Feel that energy swelling in your core. You have a couple of choices here. You can hug your knees in, rock and roll along your spine, along your mat, until eventually you come forward into a vinyasa to down dog, or you can just roll to one side and come into down dog. You choose. You can take the vinyasa route or the no yasa route. It doesn't really matter how you get there, but come into down dog. Mm -hmm. Take a huge breath in and down dog. And a huge breath out. Inhale, float your right leg up to the sky behind you. And then exhale, bring your right knee to your right upper arm for pigeon. Set up for pigeon pose. Right knee goes out to the right. Left leg stretches back. Your right knee goes further right than your ribs. And then inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bow. If pigeon is too much for your knee or some part of your hips, you can lay on your back and take eye of the needle as right leg crosses over left thigh and then you reach your right arm through and hold on. So it's a figure four with your legs. That's it. You got it, Sean, just like that. That works too. And an eye of the knee will make your feet really active. So flex your toes. Yeah, there you go. And you just gently pull with your arm. So take all that big buildup of energy now and send a breath down into your hips. Exhale, feel for softening in your hips, your low back, your ribs, your heart. Let go in your jaw, your tongue, your throat. So much of the suffering that we have as humans is our unwillingness to let go of things our unwillingness to let things move. People, ideas. And an unwillingness, a resistance to starting over. And it shows up in our bodies, but it also shows up in our minds as resistance, as stress, as struggle, to want to control what we can't control. But in change, there's also an opportunity. Find some new unknown strength, some unknown joy, some unknown passion, some unlocking of our hearts, our minds, our bodies. Downward facing dog. Breathe as you go there. And if you want, you can make a sound or raise your leg up, bend your knee, do some hip circles, whatever feels good to release the energy of pigeon. And then inhale, raise your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring your left knee to your left upper arm and take pigeon on the other side. Take your sweet time. 
It can be a very intense pose, but it can also be a very sweet pose. If you're sweet to yourself in the pose. That could be the thing that needs a beginning is beginning of being sweeter to yourself. I can start with this breath. Take a sweet breath in like a hug down into your hips, down into your core. Feel it like an embrace. And then exhale, feel for softening. As if that embrace supports you so much that you can let go. every breath feel for releasing more Downward facing dog. Take your time. And if you want to make a sound like ah or raise your leg, do that. Okay, let that go. Walk or float through to seated for a seated forward fold. Both legs out in front. Flex your toes, inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bow forward. You can bend your knees as much as you'd like. Really draw the pinky toe edges of your feet back toward your face. Inhale, lengthen out your abdominal line, lift your heart. Exhale, pull the pit of your belly in and fold. Let your head hang heavy. You can rock side to side. Eventually, you'll let your belly rest on your thighs and then eventually your chest, and then eventually your forehead. And it starts with ribs and belly on thigh first. That's the order of things. And then slowly walk your hands back, sit up. Lie down on your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Then place both feet on the floor. We're going into a spinal twist. Move your hips about three inches to the left. Place them back down and then send your knees over to the right. If you want, you can look, cross your left thigh over your right thigh like eagle legs. And then pick up your right shoulder blade and move it further right so you get more of your upper back on the mat. You can look to your left if you want, or you can look straight up. Inhale, lengthen your heart away from your hips. Exhale, let your torso twist rather than forcing it to twist. 
And if you want, you can kind of uh, roll your head back and forth to bring out any tension in your neck, your head, your jaw. Unwind your legs and then one leg at a time, come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest again to reset. And then pick up your hips or place your feet back down, pick up your hips, move into the right about two to three inches. Knees toward your chest. You can bring your right thigh over and then twist. Pick up your left shoulder and shoulder blade and slide them out further to the left. Inhale. Feel for breath soaking into your right ribs, your top of your heart. Exhale, feel for softening. Come back to center. Unwind your legs first and then one leg at a time, come back to center, hug your knees in one more time. Take a big loving breath in. Shavasana. It's corpse pose. So for those of you who feel okay, you can have your legs spread out and widen your legs, let your arms dangle out by your sides. If that doesn't feel good on your low back, one way to address that is to have your feet flat and as wide as your mat, and then let your knees come together. Sometimes that can feel good for people with tweaky low backs. Once you get a position that feels good, take a huge breath in. Exhale, let all the breath out. Let go of your ujjayi breath. And let your breath be natural and soft. Let the ground hold you. We end in Shavasana every time with an acknowledgement that a little bit of the old self, the old ways, die away. So that we can come up brand new. This is from Melody Beatty. Honor the beginning. Beginnings can be delicate or explosive. They can start almost invisibly or arrive with a big bang. Beginnings hold the promise of new lessons to be learned, new territory to be explored, and old lessons to be recalled, practiced, and appreciated. Beginnings hold ambiguity, promise, fear, and hope. Don't let the lessons, the experience of the past dampen your enthusiasm for beginnings. Just because it's been hard doesn't mean it will always be hard. Don't let the heartbreaks of the past cause you to become cynical or close you off to life's magic and promise. Open yourself wide to all that the universe has to say. Let yourself begin anew. Pack your bags. Choose carefully what you bring because packing is an important ritual. Take along some humility and lessons from the past. Toss in some curiosity and excitement about what you haven't yet learned. Say your goodbyes to those you're leaving behind. Don't worry who will meet you or where you will go. The way has been prepared. The people you are to meet will be expecting you. A new journey has begun. 
Let it be magical. Let it unfold. All parts of the journey are sacred and holy. Take time now to honor the beginning. Take a long, luxurious breath in. Exhale, let it out. And as if you are waking up into a new beginning, a new body, a wise body, a loving body, start to explore your fingers and your toes, stretching out however it feels good. When you're ready, one by one, bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And then gently roll to one side. You can stay there for a few breaths using your bottom arm as a pillow. You're not in a rush. And slowly make your way up to seated using your arms. Sit up really tall and luminous and bright. Bring your hands to heart center and softly bow your head to your heart. There is a new beginning that wants you. It's asking for you to say yes. Internally, you can say yes. And yes is the, yes is the, the word that the universe uses to know that you're ready. Exhale everything out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, land your hands at your heart. You don't even have to know what you're saying yes to necessarily. Just internally say yes. It says whatever it is, whatever my lessons are, whatever growth, I'm ready. And from that place of yes, together we say, Namaste. Thank you. You can do the jazz hands. I can also, maybe, if I have the capacity, unmute you all. Yep, you're unmuted. If